The homelessness picture, I think, I think, is something that we should all be deeply ashamed of. More people have died on the streets of England and Wales in the last five years than the British Army lost troops in both the Afghanistan and Iraq wars. Homelessness is a choice, it isn't an accident, and we can choose to do something about it, or we can choose not to. I'm pleased that the Welsh Government is finally working with crisis to implement plans that aim to eradicate homelessness. Eliminating homelessness will save money. Implementing the crisis report will cost Wales around £900 million over the next 20 years, but it will bring benefits of £1.5 billion. For the UK as a whole, those figures are even bigger, with spending of £40 billion needed to achieve benefits of £60 billion. So I hope that the Minister will be implementing the recommendations of the Homelessness Action Group and the Crisis Report in full. A particularly pernicious piece of legislation in relation to rough sleepers is the Vagrancy Act. Forcing rough sleepers out of city centres and criminalising homeless people for rough sleeping and begging is archaic and it removes any dignity that a homeless person may retain. I, like many others, would like to see the Vagrancy Act abolished as it is in effect in Wales, but until then, I'd like to know what official discussions have been taking place with the police regarding the execution of this Act. Has the Welsh Government made representations to the police forces and local authorities in Wales to encourage and promote kinder methods of helping homeless people rather than increased enforcement of the Vagrancy Act? They could, for example, decide not to operationally enforce the Vagrancy Act. Would you support such a course of action? Um, yes, thank you very much for those points. And again, we're largely in agreement on that very last one, absolutely. And we are working on two things around the Vagrancy Act. First is um, how far we can go in Wales to disapply it. We can't repeal it, but how far we can go to disapply it formally. And then secondly, how far we can work with partners to ensure that it's not used even where we haven't been able to formally do that. So I can assure you that those are ongoing active discussions. I share your belief that it's archaic and um, highly unsympathetic way of treating people in vulnerable position.